Mitsurugi Kamuihike. 117 megabyte install file. This is probably going to be the shortest legitimate review I ever do, and my export is going to be bigger than that. Fuck me. Mitsubishi Camcorder Hente is an arena wave-based brawler. The combat in this game is pretty fluid and it's kind of fun, but it gets old really quickly. Your triangle button uses your katana attacks, which drain this katana gauge up here. Once your katana gauge is empty, you can no longer attack with it unless you use your bleeding attack, which deals extra damage to enemies who are in the bleeding status. You can also recharge your katana gauge by using hand-to-hand -hand combat, which is done with a square button. In addition to this, you also have a special attack, which is carried out with a circle button. This can be sped up by the use of the R1 button. L2 is used for blocking and dodging. R2 is used for your bleeding attack. This is about the extent of what the game teaches you in the tutorial, which is where I'm going to draw my first complaint. The tutorial in this game is total garbage and leaves a lot to be desired. Among the things not taught to you are the jump button, the fact that there are jump combos, swiping leg attacks, flourishes, timed attacks, counter attacks. Really, there is a lot not mentioned in the tutorial. The game controls well, but here's something that I never really complain about in other games. The sound design in this is fucking garbage. The worst I've ever said about sound design in games, I believe, is that it's pretty stock. Or that if it's bad, it's at least charming in the case of Deadly Premonition. In this game, it's not stock, it's not charming, it's just bad, and the music isn't very good either. The voiceovers are okay, but repetitive. The story behind this game is that a former friend of yours stole an evil blade and you need to hunt her down because every time she uses the blade she becomes more inundated by the evil that possesses it. If she uses the blade too much she too will become possessed by this same evil and spoiler alert that happens by the end. This is the final battle. I'm spoiling this for you because there's no build up to it. I can't even truly call it a spoiler. What I told you just now was the whole story. It takes an hour and a half to get to this point, with deaths. Without deaths, the entire game is maybe an hour and 15 minutes long on normal difficulties. Maybe add about 10 to 15 more minutes on harder difficulties, but still, that is a very, very short game. You get to the end of this game simply by bashing wave after wave of uninspired enemies that look like Power Rangers in business suits for the most part. Eventually you stop fighting these Power Rangers in business suits, and your regular enemy becomes these mech enemies. They look kind of like Transformers, or mechs from Zone of Enders, or Metal Gear Solid. Really, there is nothing in this game that feels inspired. The combat is fluid and fun for about 10 minutes, but given there are no actual exploration elements, just circular arenas to battle in for an hour and a half, it gets boring after those 10 minutes. There's really nothing to do in this game. You can collect experience by defeating enemies and upgrade your moves, but it really just serves to give you more of the same thing you are always doing, only slightly more powerful than it used to be, which does help you clear through the stages a little bit easier, but does nothing to mix up the gameplay or make it any more fun. Really, this game is about as boring and straightforward as it gets. It released on Steam a few years ago to very positive reviews, but I'm going to spoil that for you guys. Those are memes. That's it. This game was memed into great reviews. This game is not worth anybody's time or money. As I said, it can be fun for about 10 minutes, but bosses are cheap and they just devolve into rinse and repeat formulas to beat. The enemies. Just button mash them to death, there's really nothing to it. What I just told you is the whole game. When you beat the game, you unlock costumes, and... That's it. That's Mitsurugi Kamuihike. This, this review is going to be really short, so... I apologize if you guys wanted more. This game is only one hour long. I can't give you any more about it than that. That's that's really all there is to it. So, unless you're gonna get this game for 50 cents, avoid it at all costs. It's not worth your time, it's not worth your money. This game seems to sell on the fact that it appears to be niche, 
and it appears to be a bit fan service -y. There are panty shots in this game if you're perceptive enough to notice them, but that is really not a very redeeming aspect of this game. This game has no redeeming qualities. And that's all I'm gonna say about it guys, so thanks for watching. Sorry I can't recommend a good game today. Hey everybody, if you like what you see here, why not hit that subscribe button or hit that like button. If you don't like what you've seen, hit that dislike button. Leave me a comment below. I'm always interested in some constructive criticism. If you want to keep up to date, I do have a Twitter in the description below. I will try to use that to communicate with you guys a little bit better and let you know when I'm doing streams on my streaming channel. So thanks in advance, and as always, thanks for watching.